Modified Atmosphere Packaging, or MAP for short, increases a food shelf life and saleability, as well as maintaining the food quality during its storage period. But how do we achieve optimal MAP? This is what we aim to answer in this video. So please stay with us to the end to find out more about the details and equipment for an ideal MAP system. This simple schematic gives an overview of the structure of an MAP system. As you can see, it's composed of different parts. To better understand this structure, let's focus on each part of this system one by one. At the very beginning, there are the gas sources. By gas, we mean nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and of course, oxygen. These gas sources can be in the form of cylinders, cryogenic tanks, or in some cases, gas generators. To start the process, these gases get transferred into the gas mixer to create the desired mixture of nitrogen, carbon dioxide and oxygen for different types of foods. To achieve this, we can adjust the gas mix percentage using different methods. For example, using mechanical dials on the mixer or using the electromechanical mixing valves. As you can see, these types of mixers can be connected to a Programmable Logic Controller, or PLC, so they can be controlled via electrical signals. The next component is the gas analyzer, which could be integrated into the gas mixer or could be a standalone unit for monitoring the exact real-time percentages of the gases. Equipped with measurement sensors, the analyzer will work in conjunction with the mixer and in case of any anomalies in the gas mixture, it will inform the operator by activating an alarm or will directly shut down the whole or a specific part of the system. Of course, the analyzer can be connected to a PLC as well and be integrated into the main control system. After achieving the perfect mixture, the gas mixture at the required pressure will enter the next step, which is the packaging step. How the modified atmosphere is applied to the packaging depends on the type of machine we use. The first method is called gas flushing, in that we insert a pressurized gas stream into the food package so that the desired gas mixture replaces the air inside. Using an inline analyzer, it's possible to reduce the amount of gas and by this to save money in flow pack machines. By means of a lance, a sample is taken continuously from the pillow bag and analysed. As long as the oxygen value is below the set limit value, the amount of the supplied protective gas is reduced. If the oxygen content approaches the limit value, the protective gas quantity is automatically increased. The second method is called compensated vacuum. In this method, the machine first removes the air inside by pulling a vacuum within the package and then breaks the vacuum with the desired gas mixtures. Finally, we have our food packed. But wait, it's not the end of the process. As our product quality will be dramatically affected by leakages, we have to be sure it is sealed properly. So the next stage is to make sure the product package is free from any leakages using a leak detection machine. The device used for this purpose could be in line or the type we use in the laboratory. Inline leak detection machines work with integrated high-technology sensors which detect trace gases like carbon dioxide. CO2 is already part of the modified atmosphere. It delivers the best results in terms of relevant leak size, and it's not expensive. Installed on the production line, they can detect even the smallest leaks in a fraction of a second when the trace gas escapes from the packages. They can also automatically remove the faulty packs from the production line. In addition to the mentioned equipment in the production line, laboratory testing devices are used as well. In this case, quality control experts perform tests on randomly chosen packages to check the quality and suitability for sale. Along with some other accessories like can piercers, Tabletop or portable gas analyzers could be used for analyzing the gas concentration inside different kinds of packages. 
Portable analyzers are highly versatile and very easy to use. They can be used for analyzing the packaging gases in a laboratory or directly on the production line. On the other hand, tabletop analyzers can have other options like auto calibration, long life measuring cells, and more communication ports. One of the most common methods for package leak detection is using a vacuum chamber. Two kinds of tests could be performed with a vacuum leak detection machine in the laboratory. The first one, as you see, is a leak test underwater. So when there is a leak, you can see that clearly through small bubbles coming out of the package. The second test is called the cargo test and its purpose is to check the package resistance to high altitude. In this way, we ensure that the product package will remain safe during air freighting at specific altitudes. In this video, we have gained a good understanding of the different elements of the MAP system. First, we started with the gas sources. Next, we made our desired gas mixture using the gas mixer and then we packed our product with the most suitable mixture of gases. Finally, we ended up testing our package for any possible leakage with the leak detection machine. If our package is flawless and has no leaks, we can deliver top quality food products to customers, thanks to the MAP method.